Here is a thinking and communication question for you. You need to graph the quadratic function. Consider y equals to x square plus bx plus 1. Find the values of b so that the quadratic relation has only one zero. Then sketch its graph. I'm Anil Kumar and in this video I'll explain you how to do such questions. Now when we say that the quadratic relation has only one zero. That means it's kind of a perfect square, right? So what we should do here is we should look into factoring strategies to solve this problem. Now if it is a perfect square, we are looking for a number in the center which should be two times a b, right? What I'm trying to say is you write this as x square plus two times. Now one is one square, right? So 2 times a is x, right, x squared, and b is 1. So 2 times 1 is 1, so 2x. So we have to write a function something like this. Now, if I write like this, then it becomes a perfect square, and we could write this as y equals to x plus 1 whole square, right? So that becomes an equation of a quadratic relation where we'll have only one zero. Then the zero will be at x equals to minus one. Well, there was another alternative. We could think this to be minus also. So, so minus will also work. So b could be equal to plus two or minus two, right? So what I'm trying to say, if b is plus two or minus two, let me take y equals to x squared minus two x, plus 1, then what do you get? You get x minus 1 whole square, right? So in both the cases, we get 1, 0, and that is on the x-axis, correct? Now we'll see how to sketch this function. As you know, y equals to x square is a parent function. So to sketch y equals to x square, what we do is we start with the vertex, and then one unit to the right move one up, one, three, five, seven are the steps, right? The steps are one, three, five, seven, and so on, right? These are the steps. And you know, the vertex is zero for the time being. So one step and you go three up, one, two, three, there you go. And likewise, you can continue. So you have a parent function, which is kind of like this. From symmetry, we can get other points also. So that is the graph of x square. Now we have x square, x plus one whole square. Now x plus one basically means that you are moving one unit to, so we are doing x plus one. So x will plus one, if I write x as minus one, it becomes zero. So that this point moves one unit left, right? So every point moves one unit left. So that is how we get our transform function, right? So every point moves one unit left and we get our graph. So this is for the first one where value of b is plus two, right? So this is when b is equals to plus two and you have your function which is y is equals to x plus one whole square, correct? Now, if b is minus 2, in that case, the graph moves one unit to the right, correct? So this, all these points move one unit to the right, and so we have something like this going on, right? So we are moving one unit to the right, and joining these points, I get this function, which is for b equals to minus 2 minus 2. In that case, the function will be x square minus 2x plus 1, or you could write this as x minus 1 whole square, right? Like we have written. So that is how you can do such questions. So b can have two values. The two values for b are plus and minus 2, and these two graphs represent them rep respectively. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.